What's up my crazy people of the internet, it's your boy awesome 18 and welcome with a continuation of from part 1, now we're in part 2 of the Pokemon Sword and Shield. And this episode we're actually going to go ahead and choose our starters. But before I go on and deciding who our starters are, I want to talk about the Shady Lock that I mentioned earlier in the episode in part 1. And I just want to go more into it. So what a Shady Lock is basically, literally in the name, Shady. This Shady Lock was created by Shady Penguin, which I think most people should know who he is. But the point is, in his shady, shady Lock, it's basically he applied this rule to his Nozlock, where he gets three tokens. And those three tokens are used for healing at a Pokemon Center, or anything in general that heals you fully. That is not actual healing items. And on top of that, during actual battles... I can't be healing at all, which is a very scary thing that I don't even know why I'm attempting it. But I'm joining it with Goki Gamer because you know, I want to be the best of the best. And to destroy the best, I mean to destroy the best, I mean to be the best, I have to be the best. Which is Goki Gamer so far because he's in the lead with me. He's been winning so many things on top of me. I'm not talking about Wi-Fi battles, I'm actually talking about Nuzlocke. I think we're on a tie right now, but... We gotta break that tie somehow, right? So I thought, this is a great opportunity. See how far I get. And if I fail for whatever reason, I'll still continue the game. But this time with as a normal Let's Play. So let's hope that doesn't go to that route. So let's go on with the series. And on top of everything that I mentioned about basic no sack rules, every route you go to, you catch whatever your first encounter, and then so on and so on. Like a normal Nuzlocke, no just I applied three other things. I mean, two other concepts to this Nozak. So, let's continue on. <clears throat> Come on! You pick first! I've already got my Wooly after all! Alright. Yeah, if you say so. But, if you guys already know, if you guys saw last episode, towards the end, you guys already know who my starter is. And it's my boy, Sobo! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, come over here, Sobo. It adapts to anything as surely as water flows. Going with the water type Pokemon Sobo? Yes! Yeah! Boom! I chose Sobo. Yes. And actually, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna give my boy Sobo a nickname after one of the people that have always made it into this game for some... Who always brings me good luck. And especially since in the, the Fire Red Chest Lock, he's brought me a lot of luck. And that is none other than Lil Ted G. He's always there, man. <laughs> I know he's been a Gyarados. He's been a Feraligator. Now he's going to be a Sobo, my starter. Which I hope he brings me joy towards the end. So let's go, Sobo. Bam. And if we get Pokeballs, the Shady Lock has officially started. Alrighty. <clears throat> so, it'll be Sobo for you. Nice one. Then I'll go with Score Bunny, you're mine! <laughs> I'm going to be the next champion, so be ready, you and I'll be doing some serious training! Ah, uh, look at Score Bunny! Oh, so cute! All these Pokemon are so magnificent. I bet you will be, Hop! That's why I brought along these Pokemon for you and also Joey Team, so the two of you can battle and train and grow stronger together to try to reach me! <laughs> and poor little Grookey. Wait, what? And you'll come with me. Charizard will show you the ropes. He's strict, but real strong and real kind too. Aww. Poor little Grookey. Alright. In oh, wait. This is the mop. Alright. Enough of all oh, this trainer nonsense for one night. Dinner's ready, children. Bring along your Pokemon and let's all eat. I guess we, we all gotta eat some ribs. I mean, it kind of looks like corn cobs, I think. Cobs on a stick, I think. What is that? Hmm. Sometimes I don't even know. To be honest, sometimes I don't even know. Alright, the next day. You spend the whole night with that new partner of yours, right, Hop? You two getting on all right, understanding one another? Maybe we can build up a bit of love? Of course I have, Lee. Also, Joey's 18 made lost. I mean, <clears throat> Also, Joey's 18 made, made fast friends. 
with Sobo too. Uh-huh. So listen up, you trainers. Believe in yourself and your Pokemon. If you trust one another and carry on battle side by side long enough, then someday you might even become worthy rivals for me, the unbeatable champion. <clears throat> what, are you, what are you looking at him for, Lee? I'm the one who will come to challenge you. If you think Oscar Chili might be able to challenge you, then I guess he's my first rival. But I'm not planning to lose for him and miss out on my chance to beat the unbeatable champion. Just having a Pokemon with you doesn't make you a real trainer, you know? Proper trainers raise your Pokemon up to be the first rate in battle, too. Oh, oh, and you think you're with really calling yourself such a proper trainer already, Hop? Huh? Guess I'll be the judge of that. Let's see how you handle yourself in a battle against your friend, if he's up for it. What do you say? Willing and ready to take Hop on in his first ever Pokemon battle of his life? Hell yeah! Let's go. Believe in your partner, Pokemon, and care for them, too, with all your heart. Do these two things, and I'm certain you'll learn to choose the moves that suit your Pokemon, and more importantly, to have a champion time battling with them. Wait, a champion time or a fantastic time? Looks like everyone's on board, Pokemon and trainers alike. Then let's do this. I've watched every match that Lee's ever had. I've read every book and I've seen he left behind I hold too. I know exactly what to do in order to win. Why does this kind of remind me of a Tarzan theme? Alright. I'm gonna destroy Hop right now. Let's go. You sent out Wooloo? Oh, you sent out two Pokemon? Bruh. Oh, wow. Okay, what the hell, Hop? Okay, whatever. You know what? Do I got potions on me? Do I got Pokeballs? Okay. Okay, I got a potion. All right, but I technically don't have Pokeballs on me, so let's go. go let's go, Loteji. We're gonna pound this fool to the ground. Let's go. Ooh, it wasn't super effective. Pound, pound, pound. Poop. Wow. <laughs> okay, that's a little cool animation. That's a little bit of a cool animation. Doesn't show that they actually did work on the animation sound much though. Alright, first Pokemon down. Wulu is game over. Do I learn Water Gun or something? I learned Water Gun! Look at that! Bam! It's not over yet! I've had another trusty ally to my team! Haha, <laughs> alright. Scar Bunny, you're done, man. You're done. I'm sorry, but. It's game over. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I am sorry. Water gun this. That, that's it. Did you already know about type advantage? Of course! I've been playing Pokemon for the past seven years, I think. Or more. Competitively, more like two. But that's it, GG. You're done, score bunny. Deuces. Peace. <laughs> And that's level seven for you. All right. You beep. <clears throat> you beep to my Pokemon with your one. You and that some are too much. Oh no. And I got four hundred bucks. Now go keep pay up, pay up. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well. That was a shock. Guess I know now why Lee thought he could give me a Pokemon too. Precisely. You and your Pokemon all fall hard. Made me almost want to let out Charles and Jr. and all the fun. <laughs> Good effort out there, Sobo. Why don't I get you all sorted? Okay, that does not count as a token, by the way. Because we didn't get Pokeballs. If we did, then that would have counted. Oh, uh -huh. and also, Junior Team, you've got real promise. In fact, I got a favor to ask you. Be a rival to Hop, would you? Push him, and make the both of you stronger. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I already want to get stronger and stronger. You see me battle now, Lee, so come on. You gotta let me take on these Pokemon gyms. <laughs> you? Join the gym challenge? <laughs> you think you're ready for the single greatest competition in the Galo region? Not putting the card before the rapid is just there, little brother. Now, if that's really what you want to do, you two have a whole lot. You need to learn about Pokemon. 
especially your friend also Joe T. When you think about getting gym badges, best to think about getting a Pokedex. A trainer's Pokedex helps him learn lots of things about all the Pokemon out there, including their strengths. But it's more than just collecting a collection of data, you know, it's a record of a trainer's love and passion for Pokemon training. Right, 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 we get it. Pokedex is damn, we're on it. Uh, look, it's off to the Pokemon Research Lab for you and me, also, GYT. <clears throat> That's the kind of enthusiasm a trainer needs. I'll let the professor know to expect you. I'm going to be the next Pokemon champion, so completing a simple Pokedex will be nothing. Just another page in the tale of my legend. You probably better go tell your mom that we're heading out, though. Hmm. <laughs> Definitely gonna go ahead and tell my mom. Hmm. Also, Joe, did you hear that just now? Uh, maybe. The gate's open and the woolly that was there. Oh. That woolly just finally broke the fence. It was tackling the fence pretty hard earlier. You don't think it actually broke through there, do you? But it's off limits. Nobody's supposed to go in there. I remember the person's granddaughter went in once and she came back in a real state. That was nothing compared to the earful she got from the office professor afterward. Also, GIT, what do you say? We gotta save it. Right, even if we're not supposed to. This is the kind of scene where you simply have to do what's needed. Ha, hope you're ready for anything because we're going in, also, Jewel Routine. Alright. Uh, should I tell my mom? Eh, uh, you know what? She will worry. Let's go. Boom! <laughs> Pretty nice scenery. Kind of reminds me of like a Super Mario Odyssey theme to here, which is pretty cool. I like the like the foggy essence, like the foggy scene, which is pretty dope. That Wooloo, where do you think it went off to? Honestly, I have no clue. <clears throat> the fog is really coming on thick now. If we don't find that Pokemon soon, this might be in trouble. Wait, what? Oh man. This is the new squirrel Pokemon. A Scovoet. Okay, first of all, do I have Pokeballs? Oh, okay. Huh. You know what? Might as well water gun in. Let's go. Water gun! Oh wow. All right, tail whip. Okay, what's with that? Okay, Game Freak said it will work on the animation. What type of movement is that? Can I just say? All right, whatever. You're dead now. Oh, poor little squirrel, you're dead. All right, let's go. All right, let's continue on. Okay. Ooh, the Rookity! Whoa, what's with this? Unnerve? Okay, I'm nervous to eat berries. All right, let's see. Hmm. What are you weak to? I'm water gunning. Okay, so I know it's a flying time, but I want to know more. Alright, let's try Pound. Uh, I don't know, maybe either it's a ghost type? A ghost and flying type? Is that even a thing? I don't, I don't think so. Huh. Oops. Okay, that's that's pretty strange. Alright, let's see what else we do in this episode. Oh, uh, wait, what if there's an item here? Okay, no items? Alright, let's go. But do 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 do. Is that Wooloo? Did you hear that? Was that a Pokemon crying out, you think? I'm pretty sure it's a cry for help. Which means we should go the other way. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, okay. I won't ditch you, my friend. But these Pokemon won't stop. I don't know. That sprite looks dope, though. Like, from an angle? Alright, let's see. Run. I don't got time for this. Alright, let's open. Let's go. Alright, Sobo buddy. 
Come on, also, Jordan. That woolly might be in real trouble. Oh, Gary. And you're stopping me for what reason exactly? <laughs> okay. Do -do -do. Wow, that's a very long fog. <laughs> this is mad. I can't even see my own hand in front of my face. I think I got I can now why this place is off limits. Wow, well, we're screwed. Unless we see a legendary right now. Wait, does that mean there's a legendary here? Called it. What is the? Is that a sword? Um. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna try to catch because I'm the number one master. Water gun! Sobo! What? Oh, what? The move had no effect on it? Pound! Go! Sobo! <laughs> Love that G! Wow. Sobo? Huh. Also, Joey, do you not can't see anything? You're okay? Well. Growl! <laughs> Yo! I can't see nothing now! I can't see anything! <laughs> Likewise, my friend. Say what? What? Me confused now. Me very confused. And I randomly knocked out. Where's Sobo? There's no way I'd reach him on my Pokeball. Oh, hop. Awesome, Joey T. What? <clears throat> what? Lee, how do you manage to find your way here? Your pets. With directions, you you always get lost. Oh, that's nice to hear from the the little brother who had me worried sick. I've been waiting ages for you two, and you never showed up. Of course, I'm looking for the both of you. Wait, where's Wulu? We're trying to rescue that Wulu. <laughs> that Wulu? <laughs> the little chap's just fine. Though all of you had fainted by the time I found you here, you know this place is out of bounds. But it took courage to come in here all the same, and I couldn't understand well enough why you did it. You did good, Hop. And at least that Wooloo's alright. I mean, at least that Wooloo's alright. Yeah, I see Joey T. I thought we had it with that weird, when that weird fog started rolling in and that mad Pokemon attack. But at least it wasn't off for nothing. <clears throat> Attacked by some mad Pokemon? What are you talking about, Hop? It seems loads stronger than any Pokemon I've ever seen. And it just had this sort of presence. Our moves didn't even touch it. I mean, really, they moved to pass right through it. Hmm. Your moves passed right through it. So the fears of Pokemon they say live in the Sunroom world, are they actually illusions? Or something better? Get strong enough and made the two of you could be the ones to reveal the truth someday. For now, let's simply get out of this place and you'll be all right now that I'm here with you. Even if we didn't get an earful from Lee, what an experience. Those make a pretty fine first page in the tale of my legend. Well, right you are, my friend. Well, right you are. <clears throat> Don't forget to tell your mom we're out to witch her now. Okay. Choco Spare. Ch Wait, what? Choco Spare if you leave without a word. Even worse than Lee just did. <laughs> Alright, Mom. Gotta tell you. Alright, Mom. I'm gonna head out. This is gonna be a GG. A GG moment now. Wah! <laughs> Well, 
Now isn't Sobo just a sweetheart? And yes, I heard the news from young Leon. I'm glad someone bothered to tell me. Off to Wetchers, right? Aren't you? I mean, Wetchers, aren't you? Here we are. A bit of pocket money for your journey? Buy yourself a little something at the Pokemon Center. Maybe some potions or something. Remember that Sobo will battle to the very end for you. So don't go pushing the poor deer too hard. <laughs> And you, Sobel, look there, look after my little awesome duo 18. Come home to rest any time that you need. After all, east or west, home is best. Ah, our mother is a poet. Our mother is a poet. It's confirmed. Okay. Well, now we just gotta head off to, I guess, up here. I think so. Um, we still don't have Pokeballs. So, anyways, if you guys enjoy this episode of the Pokemon Sword and Shield, drop down a like, comment down below, what was your favorite part? Was it the actual like legendary Pokemon that I don't even know which one is which? I don't know if it was sh sword Pokemon or shield. I'm assuming it's a short, but oh well. Hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out. <laughs>